The winners of the 2015 Hippocrates Prize for Poetry and Medicine were announced by the judges in London on the 22nd of May. In this video, Judge Rebecca Goss announces the winners of the Open Prize, and you can hear the Open winners reading their winning poems. Um, lovely to hear all the readings so far, but I would just like to say how impressed I was by the young poet's reading, and um, quite unnerving to know that that's what's coming up behind you. So. <laughs> um, they were very assured and um, a real joy to watch and hear you both, so uh, well done, and, and up there too. Uh, <laughs> so, um, yes, just uh, a few words about, about the competition, about judging the competition. Um, and, uh, the dialogue that takes place um, between patient and carer, patient and relative, those private, challenging encounters between the sick and the well need to be respected. I, I understand that. But there is much to be gained, too, I think, uh, by an open conversation about, or from an open conversation about illness and medicine. And I think um, poetry can aid, if not start, that conversation. Um, I have said before that the world of medicine is complex and sprawling. Not everyone has access inside it, yet we can all learn so much from it. Um, yes, it can be frightening and alienating, but it's also a place of discovery, a place that s celebrates the human body from birth to death. Um, I'd like to quote Femi, actually, from the press release, and you mentioned it earlier yourself, where, when you talked about the poems from this year's prize being written by people who had found the time to find the words. And I, I think that phrase sums up this Hippocrates Prize. Um, these poems explore the world of medicine and use language, use poetry to um, reveal things. They reveal not only the wonders and the discoveries, but also things that are often underexplained, ignored or difficult to confront. Um, reading the poems for this competition, we realised as judges that there is much to be said and much that people wanted to say. We were at times moved, enlightened, startled and inspired by what we read. So uh, now for the shortlist of poems, and my pleasure to announce the third prize goes to Catherine Ayres for Making Love to Lina. Making Love to Lina. Your clinical geishas prepared me for you. They mapped out my body with indelible ink, ready for your measured gaze. I waited for them to bring me to you, stripped in a mirrored cubicle. Struggled into the plain blue gown they said you liked because it opened easily. I heard them laughing about last night in another room. Sometimes I cried, still shocked at my bald head. It's too full moon. But I accepted our encounters. Even though you made me sad, you never made me feel unworthy. Before we could be left alone, they pressed my limbs into moulds lifted my arms above my head, so my breast was pert again, my scars clenched fished, stretched smooth, almost beautiful. They squinted at prints of my contours and read out my coordinates like weary girl guides. I felt myself slide under your influence, unfold into immensity. I rose towards you many times, a willing sacrifice, watched from behind glass, by disinterested voyeurs. Music played. I saw your inner workings, felt a deep shudder of rotation as you burst a million cells inside me, little deaths, so I could live. When it was over, I hung my gown in a plastic bag and walked away. I could have felt empty. Our fractions of time, a strange white dream. But I kept your heaviness in my limbs the square of your kisses, slowly reddening my chest. The second prize goes to Pascal Petit for In the Giraffe House. In the Giraffe House. Visiting you in the hospital is like going into the giraffe house to peer down into that deep pit where they overwinter. Your head sways towards me, a map of terra incognita. Your legs wave as if through the sea, my clown on stilts, sleepwalker 
in desert pyjamas, your eyes too soft, your mouth so slack the upper jaw moves away from the lower like you've taken out dentures but had to chew over the same word. If only you could remember who this visitor is high up in the viewing gallery. I want to commemorate your youth in the savannah, my giraffe mother. I'm only passing through to shelter from the cold. It's freezing outside and I wanted warmth, but you are all the colours of drought. The cracked riverbeds of your skin, a jigsaw, no one can get light. I rest my palm against the partition and my breath blurs your lips, the long blue tongue that keeps licking the glass. And first prize goes to Maya Catherine Popa for a technique for operating on the past. Hello, I'm Maya Popa. This is my poem, A Technique for Operating on the Past. My great-grandfather held a brain and studied it for signs of music. Like all the men in my family, he was a close reader and musician. The day the KGB arrived to take him, his students misplaced the combination to the ether closet. I see him in the armamentarium, choosing between scalpels and scopes, escaping across the Carpathians in peasants' clothes. True, he did not love the state, a symphony full of poorly written solos, but he could hold a brain more steady than any in the university, interrogate its perilous longitudes, cardinal directions for taste and melancholy, yellow tulips, joy. I see him peeling back the hair, that quiet, necessary artifice, to reveal a nesting doll of impulses, then reciting the cold, hard rain of these connections at conferences in Cambridge. A halo of stage whispers as he came as close to candor with the mind as was possible. He understood the officer's parietal lobe, where his punishment waited to be articulated its obstinacy illustrated in early phrenology by the silhouette of a ram. Always the doctor's burden to reason with that which cannot easily be reasoned. I see him make the first incision, certain, gentle as a breaststroke in the Black Sea. He knew how to tell the brain a story, listen when told one in return. Knew that engine of ephemera could be a sentencing, a silence or a song. Thank you. The Hippocrates Prize is an annual award with a deadline of the 31st of January. The award is for an unpublished poem in English on a medical theme with up to 50 lines of text. There is an open international award, first prize £5,000, an NHS award, also first prize £5,000, and an international young poet category with a prize of £500. You can find out more about the Hippocrates Prize and order an anthology of previous winning and commended poems through our website, hippocrates-poetry.org.